I don't know when I started to teach these courses that put the students out into the community, but it was at least as early as the mid-70s, maybe even earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I began to teach a course called Neighborhood Politics. Um, what I did was I would call up the uh, leaders, presidents of community organizations in neighborhoods immediately surrounding the campus and ask if it would be okay if I sent a couple of students to do research in the neighborhood and in return for their uh, right, their privileges of observers, they would do something for the community organization, even if it was just like setting up chairs for a meeting or something like that. And uh, it worked out surprisingly well. Um, I mean, there were a few students who turned out to be duds. Uh, but one pair of students wound up uh, editing the uh, newsletter of the Hamden Woodbury Association. Uh -huh. uh, another woman um, moved from her neighborhood to the neighborhood where she was uh, doing research because she f felt it was uh, uh, so good. Um, and uh, so I, I began doing this. And then I started, since I was trained in survey research, I decided we would do surveys. And um, so um, we did, um, uh, and in fact, one of the, the surveys that I did, I, I published an article on the basis of it. Um, the, the class was a, a research seminar. The students would come back, I would tell them, you know, give them a series of questions that they were supposed to investigate uh, uh, um, within their neighbors. And then we'd come together and we'd sort of compare notes and see if we could explain why the Hamden organization was different from the Charles Village organization, what, what explained variations. Um, and this is actually had begun uh, earlier because one of the first things that happened after I got at Hopkins was it, it was sort of the middle of the Model Cities program. And there was a program under Model Cities called the Urban Observatory. And I was hired or commissioned to do a study of community organizations uh, and in, in Baltimore. And what I did was to compare the uh, Model Cities councils with independently initiated uh, organizations. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and I wrote, uh, there were, there were uh, not many, there were graduate students who were mostly involved in that research. And um, it was a seminar which we, I taught jointly with Peter Rossi, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and so we, uh, I, I wrote an article on the basis of that, and that was the basis for the neighborhood politics courses mm -hmm. that, that became the, the sort of um, the blueprint.